Have trouble knowing which end of the shovel is up? Need help reading the back of the fertilizer bag? You've come to the right place. It's Ask the Garden Pros on Studio 1430. To join the conversation, call 303-631-1430 right now. Here are Jim and Keith. Yo, Kathy, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. You have a question about budworms. Yes. Uh, we have a, what I call a budworm. I don't really know what it is. But um, it eats the buds before the geraniums have a chance to flower. And we've been having trouble successively for um, at least five seasons. Have you? And I, was, I was wondering how we can get rid of him. <laughs> have you used any insecticide on him? Uh, just uh, a regular flower insecticide. It's a kind of a rose um, spray that I can spray. And it's supposed to be good for geraniums, too. That's all I've used. And that hasn't seemed to work? No, it doesn't kill them. That's, hmm. Now, how often do you use it? Oh, uh, Just a couple times this summer. You may have to use it a little more than that. Okay. Uh, the cut worm or the bud worm is a, actually a caterpillar. Mm-hmm. And it crawls down the plant during the daytime and hides in the soil. Mm-hmm. So if you want to dig around in soil, you could probably find them. Okay. They, they are usually pretty good size. Yeah. Uh, and the geranium or that spray you're using should work, but I think you're going to need to use it periodically. Because these uh, the caterpillar is a result of a moth that flies around. Mm-hmm. And, and the moth is flying around, uh, I don't know if it's all summer, but a, a significant part of the summer. So you may get rid of one batch of them, and then another moth comes in and lays more eggs, and you have more budworms again. And, ah. that, and that last spray you used isn't working because now you have brand new buds, brand new growth that is, is not being protected by the spray. I see. So you now may want to try this on a weekly basis, perchance. A weekly basis. And do you have to hit the caterpillar? No. 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 Nope. You should be able to just spray the leaves, and once they chew on the, on, not the leaves, but on, chew on the buds a bit, you know, they're going to have to take it out. They're going to have to ingest it, have to eat it. So there will be some minor damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that should do it. Okay. Now, and th- you can also try spraying Dipel. Okay. That's D-I-P-E-L. Okay. Uh, that's a, a, a bacteria that is ingested, is eaten by this larvae, this caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Uh, the unfortunate part about Dipel is that it takes a while for it to really work on the caterpillar. Even though he's eaten it, it takes a while for the bacteria to start growing inside uh, the, the uh, caterpillar. Uh-huh. So in the meantime, he's going to be <coughs> chewing some more. Okay, so um, let's see. What do I want to know about this? Um, can I uh, still prune the um, flower while I'm using this stuff then? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, either one of those should be just safe to go ahead and prune the flower. Take okay. off the, you know, the old the deadheading, as they say, or those that have been chewed on. Okay, very good. And if you come out at nighttime, by the way, with a flashlight, you could probably see them in action. Yeah, because that seemed to be, we catch them early, early in the morning. Yeah, real early. Mm -hmm. Late at at night. But he seems to be very elusive this year. We're having trouble finding (laughs) him. Okay. (laughs) How are your geraniums performing otherwise? They were doing wonderfully until this uh, established itself. And now I'm having a terrible time getting them to come back and flower because they eat all the buds. Yeah, that's, well, that's the nature of this particular beast. Yeah. They'd be on top of it all summer long. So weekly, um, like every Saturday or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. And that should do it. Now, at some point, of course, uh, you'll be rid of all of them, and you won't need to spray anymore. But oh, I'm not, that'd be fabulous. Yeah, I'm not quite <laughs> sure how to tell you when that is, though. <laughs> okay. Because they're so elusive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Whenever I find one, I stomp on him. But uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you meanie. <laughs> okay. Well, I thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Thanks okay. for calling the Garden Pros. You bet. All righty. There we go. A a budworm problem on geraniums. Really very common around here, and I might add, common all the way across the country. We're not different in that regard. And thanks, everybody, for listening and participating with us here at Ask the Garden Pros with Jim and Keith. Keep your shovel sharp. We like.